What's going on guys? I want to make a real quick video and do a little bit of bearings 101 with you. Uh, at least what I think I know about pillow block bearings. And, uh, go ahead and share a little bit with you guys. Uh, recently lost a drive shaft on my no weld grinder sander and uh, decided to go ahead and replace the shaft as well as the bearings at the same time. Uh, just to have a fresh start and make sure everything was ready to go uh, when it was time to turn the machine on. Uh, now if any of you guys have a no weld grinder sander or an NWGS or say a KMG or really any kind of a belt driven uh, grinder or tool, uh, chances are it's probably got a drive shaft with some pillow block bearings on either end of it. And uh, one of the key concepts in using a pillow block bearing is to make sure uh, that it spins freely and that it's lubricated. And a lot of times when you buy new pillow block bearings, uh, especially from a cheaper distributor or uh, get maybe uh, Chinese made bearings, uh, there's really no guarantee that they've been greased or lubricated at all. Uh, so what I like to do as soon as I get them is to take the bearings out of the casting and uh, double check uh, and just make sure everything looks good. And, uh, Sometimes these stick a little bit or come out a little hard. Uh, a lot of time that's due to uh, maybe poor machining tolerances, uh, maybe a rough interior machining, uh, or even if there's a little bit of overspray on the paint job or if they put these in before the paint's dry, uh, a lot of times these will kind of stick at first. So what I like to do is stick them in a vise, take a small shaft, uh, maybe even just a screwdriver or a pin punch, and uh, get something that I can get some leverage on uh, to rotate these out of here. And uh, these seem like they actually had a light coat of oil on them, so they came out pretty easily. And uh, what you want to do, if you didn't catch that, you just rotate them to where the bearing is facing straight up or in line with the bolt holes. Uh, in the case of these types of pillow blocks, on the flange bearings, you want them perpendicular to the bolt holes. Uh, and then they should come straight out on the side uh, with the two openings. Uh, keep in mind the other side is solid all the way around. Uh, you'll have a pretty hard time getting the bearing out from this end. So once that's rotated out, uh, we can inspect the interior of the casting. And uh, it's looking pretty clean. It's got a nice clean groove uh, for the grease to follow when you pump it into the grease zerk here. And uh, I'll go ahead and go over that point real quick. Uh, each of these bearings, the outer race, has a groove going around the entire periphery or circumference of the race. And uh, usually in a couple of spots, you got some small holes uh, for the grease to travel into and to lubricate the roller balls inside your bearing. And uh, how that happens is through the grease zerk, uh, which sometimes come separately inside the package. Uh, but once that grease is pumped in here, it'll follow an inner channel and eventually make its way around this groove and into one or two of the holes there. See this bearing's got two at about uh, say ten and two o'clock. And uh, looking at this one, it looks like they did actually grease the bearing, uh, which is actually surprising. I don't think I've ever seen that before. So uh, these guys obviously knew what they were doing. So uh, we can go ahead and uh, kind of wipe this down, make sure there's no grit or debris anywhere and uh, slide this back into the casting. Uh, one thing to also keep in mind, these all have at least one anti-rotation pin. Uh, you're going to want to locate that inside one of these openings, either on this side or that side. And you definitely want to make sure to get your oil groove or your grease groove uh, on the same side of the casting that the grease zerk fitting is on. So uh, this one's right of center. We want to make sure this goes back to the right of center as well. So if we put it in this way, we'll rotate it forward. So go ahead and seat our anti-rotation pin. Make sure that's roughly where it's supposed to be. Let's 
see if we can get that rotated. Let's try this way. And again, sometimes it helps to get your shaft or a screwdriver in there and kind of rotate everything. back into place. And that looks pretty close, so it may help to try to line things, square things up in a vise. Uh, one thing you can also double check is take your zerk out and make sure you can see the lubrication groove on the inside. So uh, that looks good. Uh, I've already actually inspected that one, so I won't waste more video time with that. Uh, but that's just a real brief intro uh, to pillow block bearings and lubrication. And uh, these are ready to maybe pump just a little bit more grease in and mount to my grinder. So uh, any questions, comments, they're greatly appreciated. Leave them below. And thanks for watching, guys.